This may be the most beautiful view in the entire Czech Republic. What's up, members of the Barrio? John coming to you from Krasna Lipa, the northern part of the Czech Republic. And over the next two videos, we're gonna show you some exciting content from Bohemian Switzerland National Park in partnership with Czech Republic Tourism and a company called Northern Hikes. So guys, get ready for a very fun experience. We're staying at this hotel right here and it is actually part restaurant, part hotel, and part brewery. Can't really see too much right now, but look inside. All the cheap beer you could ever want to drink. The cool thing about this trip is that it was actually sponsored through TBEX, a travel bloggers conference. So I'm with about 14 other bloggers, vloggers, and Instagram people, all who have big followings. So it has been a lot of fun just like networking with these people. They're really funny, so you're gonna be seeing them all over, and I'll try to tag them as much as I can. We will see the highlights uh, this national park has to offer, uh, the largest sandstone arch in Europe, and then we will go to a lovely gorge. We will go on a boat and it will be amazing. Buongiorno. 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 <laughs> Janet, Tasha, Rachel, Anton. Every country here pretty much except the US. I'm the only American on this van. I don't know if that's good or bad. That's good. It's hey, probably, you're probably good. Say that again. <laughs> That's the name of the village we're just passing. <laughs> Can you say it uh, in Italian? <laughs> We've just parked the van. We've got quite a long hike ahead of us. And we're actually very close to Germany. In fact, Germany is like a kilometer down the road. We're going to be passing very close. Uh, many times during the trail, this area has a big German history. There used to be a lot of Germans living here. Uh, before World War II, and they actually call it Saxon Switzerland on that side, so they share the national park. It's Bohemian Switzerland on this side. Say in about 10 million years, so we still have some time, <laughs> it will gradually dissolve and it will be flat ground. So 10 million we, years left. 10 here. million years left. Mm -hmm. And with the gate up there, they say only 100,000 years. Oh. Well, guys, you've got 100,000 years to see the gate we're about to go to. You better hurry up. <laughs> yeah. This was one of the first like nature tourist places here in Central Europe. And this lady represents that. You can see how he's dressed in classic clothes, classic style, because back then they were hiking in tuxedos, in dresses, <laughs> with hats and all that. We've made it to the start of the trail. We've got two kilometers to go until we see Pravchiska Gate, which is probably the most famous thing in the entire national park. And I've seen some photos of it. I'm not gonna give too much away, but I think you guys are gonna like what we're about to show you. So guys, we're approaching the sandstone here, and like the first thing I've noticed is if you look down, I'm gonna show you, it's like walking on a sandy beach. This was not brought here. This is actually from the sandstone. It's just erosion, look at this. Guys, we are approaching a place called the Falcon's Nest. It sounds like the uh, hideout of a super villain, but we have to go through there and then we're gonna be able to see the gate. So we're almost there. And we see it right now, Pravchitska Gate, our first view of it, located right next to the Falcon's Nest, an old hotel, which is now a restaurant. We're gonna go inside there. We're about to make our pit stop at the Falcon's Nest, and it used to be a hotel. I wish that we could have stayed there, but unfortunately it's not possible anymore. I imagine they may have put us there if it was still open. Look at this location here. You know, the, the, the place, uh, the, the arch over there, yeah. it's one of the largest uh, sandstone okay. arcs in the world. It's the largest sandstone arc in the whole Europe, so. Number two in the world. Number two in the world? Two mm -hmm. in the world. Mm -hmm. Number one is US arches. In the arches. And this is number two. Yeah. 
We've learned so much about Pravchitska Brana, just gave you some visuals of it. It's actually towards the end of its lifespan. It's only got 100,000 years left. They don't let people walk on it anymore. They haven't since 1982. And a cool fact I learned was that they actually filmed the Chronicles of Narnia, a scene here where they had the visual of the arch but then they put like CGI for the actual actors to be walking across. That's how much they want to preserve it. But this is like the gem of Bohemian Switzerland National Park. We're right here. Very cool, guys. Uh, I think it kind of reminds me of Bryce Canyon. Um, obviously there it's more like orange in color, but this one is kind of gray, but it really reminds me of it. It's quite similar. Now uh, we start heading down first uh, to get underneath the arch and then we will follow the line of the rocks uh, along the bases all the way along the red trail down to Mesnilouka to our lunch place. Guys look we've made it under the arch right here. This is accessible you actually cannot go on top of the arch though as I've mentioned before it has been closed since 1982. It'd be a cool place to go but you know they're trying to preserve this and they don't want what happened here to happen to a place like uh, Malta where they had the arch just go right into the water. I actually visited there in a video once and I did show the arch but it's not there anymore. Just when you think that this hike can't get any more beautiful, we're passing sandstones in every direction. We have these beautiful views here beyond the trees. Sandstone right here. This is definitely one of the nicest hikes I've, I've ever done in Europe by far. So not so many people walk here. There's like a slightly hidden gem. Get the rocks on one side and then the drop and look out into the countryside exactly. on the other. I finally made it to lunch after about three hours of hiking today. So we've all earned this. And uh, Yuri was telling me that this is one of the best spots in the national park to eat. Yeah. Master yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's a, that's a cider foul. It, it might taste better now, though. Who it knows? Might. <laughs> that was the best lunch I've had so far in my entire trip in the Czech Republic. Very good chicken. Hi. Now we are walking to a gorge to do a boat trip, right? What do we got going yeah, on? Yeah, we are going to the gorges of Kamenice and we will take a mysterious boat ride. Mysterious boat ride coming up, Casket, right? You're keeping you a steady, steady you know, footing and then you just kind of push out the strap and try and get it as, you know, as straight and... I'm actually learning from this trip, yeah. Gotta get low, gotta get low. Gotta get low with like this. You might not be able to see it much on camera, but it's actually drizzling right now. And our guides were saying it's the first time it's rained in a month or two. So we, we've had some kind of a weird effect on the ecosystem here. But I think they're happy it's raining. It's actually cooling us off a bit. All right, we're boarding this long, strange green boat. And there's just one captain with an oar, you'll see. We just left the boat. That was very relaxing. Uh, I kind of wanted to take a nap after. So we are heading back to the vans. We have a little hike left to get there though. So we just made it back to the car. That windmill thing over there is really neat. We're gonna get some food and then I've got a sunset that I really want to show you. And hopefully we're gonna get there in time and film some of it. So here we go. Okay, we've arrived to Pastevni. 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 Vrch. Uh, whatever. Pastevni. Yeah, we got the sunset here, guys. We're doing it. Electric. I'm not sure if it's actually on. Do you want to test it? We're gonna test it. You're gonna get a million views. We're gonna test it. But then you have to subscribe to my channel, guys. It's in Italian, but you will enjoy. 
One interesting thing about this fam trip in Bohemian Switzerland is we have sunset trips every single day. So we're gonna see a lot of sunsets, even a sunrise. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna foam it a little bit and I'm gonna try to get the drone in the air. So let's do this. So we do trips from Prague to Bohemia and Switzerland. We can take you to amazing places and some really hidden secret gems like the place where we are filming this right now. So if you like this, you can check down the contact and you can drop us email, give us a call and we'll be happy to help you. Members of the Barrio, what an amazing day we had in Bohemian Switzerland National Park. I think a national park that is not well known enough around the world, if you're coming to Prague, you've got a detour here. I would say for at least a few nights, but worst case, you could take a day trip with Northern Hikes. These guys are super cool, very energetic, very proud about being from the Czech Republic. And I learned a lot about the history of the area and just saw so much beauty that's even been featured in a bunch of movies. And so part two of this video is gonna be next, coming out a few days after part one. I'm gonna link to it down below. Guys, leave me a comment. If you liked the video, make sure to subscribe. If you're new to this channel, thank you so much for watching. Until next time. <laughs> Buongiorno. Buongiorno a tutti. Siamo qui in uh, questo pubblico trasporto. Questo trasporto pubblico. Stiamo andando adesso a dormire.